Welcome to Username Nerd News. My name is Mike, and I'm actually with Mike Grahala, right. and uh, you, we are with R2 Builders Club. Right. And can you tell us a little bit about the club and how is it local and stuff along those lines? Uh, we are part of a worldwide organization, uh, Astromech.net. It um, uh, consists of members across the uh, entire globe. Uh, we are just the Kansas City chapter. We're consider ourselves the KC R2 Builders Club. Uh, we uh, consist of probably 25 uh, members here in the Kansas City area. Um, probably 10 or so people have uh, are actively building uh, R2 unit. Mm -hmm. And you and really here at Planet Comic Con, you guys steal the show. These these things are amazing and gorgeous looking, and I see them always, and they're just a land uh, just. Fans just following them. Yeah, there's something about there's something about it that you know people really relate to and really just enjoy seeing. And it's kind of goofy and and shiny, and it's it's neat to see. And it's one of the Star Wars favorite characters. I think it, in Star Wars, that's one of the favorite characters out there. Yeah, definitely one of the most identifiable. That's for sure, definitely. So, how how would you join if you wanted to you know start making these? Well, usually the that we get that question quite a bit, and. Um, Usually what we tell people is to first go to the worldwide uh, forum, astromech.net, um, kind of get a feel for, you know, how people are building them, how much it costs. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of the main thing we tell people. Uh, we say, we usually tell people first, figure out what your budget is, how much you want to spend, and that'll dictate, you know, what kind of materials you build it out of and uh, things like that. There's a lot of builder blogs on the, uh, the worldwide net that, uh, have us a lot of that information, but then once people kind of commit to that, we then steer them towards you know your local chapter, whether you're in Kansas City or up in Nebraska. We say try and find some local guys and gals, and they'll help you out, you know, get through some of the hurdles. And I'm guessing these aren't just kits you can just build. No, you have to kind of customize Correct. yourself. Yeah, those, that's one of the that's one of the ways we don't get in trouble with um, Lucas Arts. You know, um, the, he uh, kind of uh, he, he enjoys seeing them in you know around in events and things like that and. Uh, basically what we do is he says you know we're okay building these things and as long as we're not selling them to the general public right. of course you, you you may get some you may see some pop-up on eBay and things like that but that's generally really frowned upon and and with our worldwide organization it's I don't think that it's it's a pretty rare occurrence that someone just builds someone to sell outright so we just build yeah. them for ourselves but also when you're building these if you're not building from a kit you're building them from your you know your it's more your own creation yeah, than, than what you are. There's a lot of sweat and blood in these. And, um, you can buy parts per se, but it's not a kit. Um, a lot of it's scratch built. Um, it's uh, not really a plug and play type thing. Um, there's a lot of elbow grease and ingenuity you still got to figure out. So, so can you can you share with us a little bit about the time limit to create one of these? What goes into it? Because uh, all of them are a little bit different. They're like snowflakes. They're a little bit different. Little bit, there's little there's little differences with each one. Um, like I said, we start off with a budget for each person. They kind of figure out what their budget is, and that'll dictate what materials and whatnot that they build theirs from. Um, for instance, you know, if you were had a really tight budget. We would suggest, you know, using styrene, which is a plastic. It's a real tough plastic, and you could probably build something like that for to get it lit up and remote controlled for maybe twenty-five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. um, and then you could go on a super expensive end, which is building it out of metal or aluminum, machined aluminum. That's some machine parts and things like that, and that would get up to like you know, fifteen or twenty thousand dollars. And then there's hybrids all in between. So, for instance, this one has styrene, wood, fiberglass. Aluminum. It's got a little bit of everything. Um, there's uh, this one right here. Uh, it's built entirely out of styrene and resin, except for the aluminum dome. So it's just we tell people to use their budget as basically a starting off point. And that dictates. And each little part, like this one, I saw this little thing move. It it kind of shocked me there for a yeah. second. Yeah. There's little bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can add on, which starts you know up in your your uh, time invested in building it and then, uh, wallet damage. Yeah. So. So thank you once again for letting us come out here. Um, once again, tell us how if they want to get if they want to get into the club, how do they do it? Well, from anywhere you can reach uh, the worldwide club, which is astromech.net, and then uh, for Kansas City, our website is uh, kcr2.com. Thank you so much. Okay, stop. Don't go to the next YouTube video or channel or skip or don't do anything. Real quick, five seconds. We have three different channels. Please subscribe to them. Username Nerd News, Username Nerd Comics, Username Nerd Games. We have separated them out into three ones. Choose all of them or just, just one to subscribe to. You'd love it.
promise you will give you great content. It'll show up in your feed. You'll love it. Just real quick click. It doesn't take but a few seconds. You'd be awesome. Thank you.